One of the ways that you can take your art to the next level is by using a variety of different marks. We call this mark making in art and it kind of exactly is what it sounds like. We're going to be making marks onto various different surfaces to create interesting textures, interesting patterns and to just take that up a new level. I really hope you enjoy this lesson. Let's go. Welcome to Friday Art. Um, it might not be Friday for you, it's Friday for me. I release art lessons every single Friday and welcome back if you've been here before and welcome if you haven't. Today we're going to be exploring mark making. You can make so many interesting pieces of artwork using various different mark making and mark making can elevate your, your art and the, and the experiments that you've done already. We're going to be using stuff that I've picked up from the pound shop. So these are makeup brushes. No, they're not. They're makeup sponges. <laughs> they're really nice. Very soft. Very soft. But with a bit of black card. How lovely is that? Bit of cardboard. Synthetic sponge. Natural sponge. Scourer thing. Egg carton. Toilet roll. And they're the things that we're going to use. And anything else that I see lying around that I think will be good to use. But the first thing we're going to do is to use just a simple pencil, any pencil, and a fine liner pen. Now, what I really want you to be doing is to just freeing up some of your creative spirit and uh, play with lines. So these I've used a fine liner pen, pencil, and then a little bit of, of watercolour wash over the top uh, just to create this quite exciting page in my sketchbook which can then be used in all sorts of different ways if you're thinking about perhaps putting together a still life, something like that. Okay, let's start with the first experiment. Right, I've just popped the light on because it's gone very gloomy here again. Okay, we're just going to take the pencil, you're going to hold it very, very loosely. So you know, when you're writing, you can hold it quite tight. I want you to hold it quite loosely. And what you're going to do is to see the sort of marks across the page. So kind of like get a little bit about trashing your, your page like um, I showed in an earlier um, video. Just taking that, I'm just using like the edge, the flat bit, just to kind of create some scribbles. I'm holding it very, very loosely and just seeing what sort of marks that makes. Okay, now I'm just going to push it down a little bit heavier. I'm not trying to draw anything in particular. I'm just making different types of marks. I'm really liking this, really liking this contrast of pushing, pushing the graphite pencil over the edge like this. And when you start playing with this, it will get blunt very quickly. So have a pencil sharpener or a knife ready to sharpen it up. Okay, we're now going to move on to a graphite pen or a fine liner pen or a Sharpie would do as well. And again, we're just going to make some scribbly marks. And what I want you to do now is to swap hands. So use your non-dominant hand. The reason I'm asking you to do this is because I don't want you to get bogged down with details and things looking good. It's always quite good to use your non-dominant hand. And then you can switch back again, do a little scribbles. Just we're creating, filling the space. Fill your page. Now I'm working in a sketchbook. You can work on separate pieces of paper. That's absolutely fine. Whatever, whatever works for you, whatever you want to do. If you have separate pieces of paper, it's always quite nice to then put them into a sketchbook later. We're now going to use a bit of cardboard. Use cardboard that is uh, corrugated because that's going to make some very interesting um, marks. So you're going to make a little tool. 
okay like this and I'm just going to dip it in. I'm just using black and white. I might add a bit of colour to this later, but at the moment I just want to keep this monochrome. And what you're going to do is to make marks. See what your bit of cardboard will do. Again, you can swap hands. See how that works. Quite liking that. That's, that's some quite interesting things. You can start to scrape, scrape some of the paint across. And this is very much playing. It is through play that we can really develop our creativity. I'm going to add a little bit of white. No idea what this is going to be, because it's not actually going to be anything. It is just an experiment in mark making. You don't have to use acrylic paint. You could use um, poster paint, ready mix paint. Um, you need to have something that has a little bit of stick to it so for uh, this for this experiment watercolor is not going to be suitable but we are going to use watercolor a bit later that's uh i'm quite liking that that's uh i'm gonna hang on to that i think that's that's actually really quite interesting those sorts of marks that we get i'm going to press see that bit that's actually the, the corrugated bit i'm going to press that down and see what sort of marks that makes going up to the edges as well scrape doing some scraping oh that's quite interesting and now looking at that i wonder what will happen if i then put yeah this is this is this is fun it's all it's all good fun so i'm gonna leave that to dry and then i'm gonna come back to it a couple of weeks ago I uh, showed you how to trash your sketchbook by tearing things and then putting some paint over the top so we get rid of that kind of scary white thing. I'm now going to do some mark making on top of this. And this time I'm going to use my natural sponge. I'm just gonna tear that a little bit because it's gonna have some very interesting shapes. And I'm going to have put some white and I'm just going to put some white over the top of this just seeing what happens seeing the sort of shapes shapes that you get uh, yeah I'm liking this. this this is good so with this with a sponge you can twist it some shapes I'll, I'll do that in black so you can see more clearly don't need too much paint oh that's quite interesting isn't it quite liking those Yep, it's um, going over to this page as well. I do like to work on a double page if I'm in a smaller sketchbook. Not liking that, so I'm not sure where it's going, but it's all uh, it's all looking good because you're just playing, and that is that is the whole point of this uh, particular lesson. Is I really do want to encourage you to play, to not get too bogged down with what it's supposed to look like and I'm no good at drawing and all of that kind of rubbish because we're just playing with some materials and as you play with this and create these abstract shapes ideas will come into your mind and you will have some some more thoughts and see when we turn that we've got this kind of space here which I'll do something else with okay I'm now going to go back to one of these makeup sponges. Now these are really soft and they haven't got a lot of texture to them, but they're very easy um, to manipulate. And so I'm going to kind of whirl that one up a little bit like that. I'm going to pop that um, into the paint and just use it to create some, some marks on the page. Again, I'm just, I'm using um, acrylic paint here. And you see, you get like a repeated pattern on your shape. And that's uh, quite interesting. Um, please excuse the, uh, the banging. We're having a bit of work done. And it's just outside the studio window. <laughs> okay, yeah, that, I'm, I'm, I'm liking this. And these are obviously can just be washed and used over and over again, which is really good. Let's just move over to this side. I'm going to use the toilet roll 
my um, abs create, creating the abstracts lesson, I, I used um, the to this toilet roll, in fact. Uh, very underrated, I think. So I'm going to use the end and put some paint on the end there. Making those marks. So if you're having fun and you're liking this, perhaps you'd like to give it a little like, that would be, be so nice. Um, and you know, if you want to subscribe, if it's, it's kind of your sort of thing, that would be lovely. Let's put those, yeah, I'm liking this. Now the other thing with, with the toilet roll, let's see if I move that one as you can roll. Roll your shape. Oh, that's all looking, looking quite exciting, isn't it? Yeah, swap hands. Lovely. I'm going to leave that one to dry. Now, when you start getting going with this, you will notice all sorts of things around your house. And hopefully you'll be thinking, oh, I wonder what sort of mark that would make. And that's exactly it, isn't it? Because you're never quite sure. Um, so what we've been doing at the moment is, um, or previously, was taking something, dabbing it into the paint and then putting it onto the paper. But you don't have to do that. There are other ways of putting paint onto a surface. And I'm going to show you with this uh, egg carton. You see, I've used this before. I have used this with, when I've done jelly printing. And if you're, uh, if you're interested in jelly printing, I am going to be posting... Uh, some lesson and tutorials on how to use a jelly plate because that is great fun. I'm going to put that there. Oh yeah. That's quite interesting, isn't it? And then I found this scoury, scoury thing. Um, so I'm going to shove that in there. Now I've been working directly onto white paper but you don't have to. You could, you could do a background first and then start doing marks and we will do that um, a little bit later. i quite liking this kind of effect, actually, with this scourer. Actually, I'm liking that a lot. Just adding just sort of black and white. Now I'm just going to introduce a little bit of orange you don't need to use a lot and I'm, I'm using no water no water at all so this is this is quite interesting this would be a really interesting background for sort of like an urban type piece sort of reflecting um urban life i think that could actually be quite exciting this is has a sort of um like a, like a bit of a fence or a bit of construction thing going on here. Okay, let's uh, leave that one to dry. The next bit we're going to do is using a pencil and watercolours. So this is a piece where I'm taking line and then adding some watercolour to it, just tucking that here. And I've done the same on this side as well. So I'm just going to show you how to do that. Again, I like working in a sketchbook because I like to look back on them and look at the experiments to, and to see what worked and what didn't work. And I'm also going to be using a fountain pen. Um, you don't have to, but it does give some, uh, some really nice effects. So we're going to start off by just doing kind of a wandering line across the page and then back again, going back on itself. So you have this lovely kind of free squiggly line. I'm going to take my fountain pen and I'm going to do some lines kind of following, following a little bit of the lines that I did with the pencil. And I'm using drawing ink so it will run. This isn't an ink that fixes, which is exactly uh, what I want. I'm going to be using two different types of brushes. Uh, a, a round end brush and a flat end brush and some water and one of my favorite watercolor paints which are the Anna Linkies, which are really bright really really bright vibrant colors 
um, which I like very much. And we're just going to take a little bit of watercolour on these marks that we've previously made. Like this. Uh, I'm just going to get my spray bottles. It's just water. A little bit of a squirt. This. I'm going to have this um, looking quite uh, organic, I think. So uh, more sort of natural colours. And you can see what's happening. Let me just zoom. Zoom down here a little bit. You can see that the ink is running. So you get that um, that lovely, lovely effect. Add that. So now I'm going to change to my flat brush. A little bit of water. I'm going to keep keep to this green. And I'm just using the flat brush. So just try things out. See what works. While it's still wet, we're going to start to make additional marks onto the paper. So we're going to do this. I'm using my flat brush and it's kind of a flick movement. Sort of just flicking quite lightly through the uh, paint that is just wet. Just a few more. Yeah, so I apologise for the for the banging. It's not too distracting. Let's do that. I'm, I am really liking that, actually. I'm just going to add a little bit more green to that. Splodge that a little bit. Yeah, this is this is looking looking good fun. I'm, I am liking that. So this here I'm going to do slightly differently. I'm going to kind of have this as a sort of a vertical. So the ink that I'm using is a diamine ink and it's in grey. Just like little squiggly lines. I'm not kind of thinking about it too much. Just, just getting the feel of the of the, the ink, the feel of the pen. You can do this with a fine liner. I'm just gonna fill this little space on the page of my sketchbook. So I'll pop that there. I'm going to take the flat end again. Just going to drop some water. Still got a hint of green on on the brush, but this is just water. I'm just using water. Getting that sort of just splodge a little bit. And this page is has got sort of blues on it, so I'm just going to add a little bit of blue on one side. That's in a few a few areas there. I'm quite liking this experiment. I might do something with that a little, little bit later, or I might just sort of leave it as it is. So I've come back to my other sketchbook. And I'm going to turn this page and this time I'm going to use this scourer and to see what happens when I use that. I'm going to use the end of it first. It's just, you don't want it to be too, too sticky. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. So it's going to create texture on the page. Let's just do that with a bit of a bit of pink, a little bit too much. If you use too much paint, 
might not work as well. But this is why we experiment. So we try things out. So that's dabbing. Seeing the effect that has, which is uh, yeah, really quite interesting. Obviously, we've got a an edge here. Let's just pop that that edge into black. Yeah, that's quite interesting as well, isn't it? Move across the page. And then the other thing that we can do with a straight edge is we can twist to create arcs. And that's, that can be interesting as well. One of the questions um, a few of my students ask is, how do I know when to stop? <laughs> it's because it's a really good question. Um, and this is again we're playing so it might be yep you decide to stop and then perhaps a couple of months later you come back and you look through your sketchbook and you think yes I'm going to do a little bit more on that and that is exactly the point of a sketchbook it is your uh, way of playing and experimenting and trying new things some of which will work some of it some of it might not and that's okay <laughs> that's exactly what is gonna, going to happen the next thing is we're going to use a bit of string this is just um, garden twine and we're going to just make a bit here and we're also going to then use a piece of copier paper really thin you, you could use newspaper as well that's absolutely fine um that's right i'm going to take a larger larger brush and then what I'm going to do is to actually just put some paint. So this is a bit of, I'm doing so just a bit of black. And then I'm just going to blob some white over there as well. Let's just, oh, let's just move that down a little bit. Then I'm going to put a piece of paper on top. We're going to press that down. Like this. And then we're going to grab an end of the string. Hold your hand down and just pull the string out. Like that. It's going to get a little bit messy. And you're going to create these kind of swirly patterns. Now, on your copier paper, you're going to have some ink. I'm going to press that down. To create that. There's still a little bit on there. And maybe a little bit more. So I'm creating this sort of background. I will keep this because I will use this for collage. When you're doing collage, you need to be working on very thin paper. It works better that way. So I've got my got my bit of string still here. I'm just going to hold that and drag that across. That's quite interesting. You can do this with a piece of cardboard. I just had this <laughs> lying next to this. So I'm just sort of putting that in there. You can see that there's quite a bit of paint in that pink blobby bit. Let's pull that. You can see these sorts of shapes that are coming. So the marks we're making using the string is quite interesting. That's just going to do another little bit over here. I put some white, maybe a bit of pink. If you don't like getting your hands messy, then you pop some Pop some gloves on. I'm just going to pull that out. See what happens. Yeah, that's quite. That's quite interesting. Liking that. Pull that bit. Never quite sure what is going to happen. And that's all part of it. Okay, so we've got that. I will leave that to dry and do something else with it as well. I hope now that you're really enjoying. The process and that you can see just what you can do 
by making different marks using different sorts of materials. So I'm now going to be using some charcoal. Now this is the traditional way of creating art. This is how our ancestors created art, using marks, using the earth and the natural world around them. This is a fat piece of charcoal and I'm using the flat end to make the marks. I can use this end here to make stronger lines. Play, just playing with it. I get very, very messy using charcoal. I think most people do actually. It is a very messy thing. So have, have a cloth down. Uh, this is an old shower curtain. So it worked out quite well. Um, other pieces of charcoal. This is willow charcoal. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my lovely makeup sponge and then start to do a bit of blending. I'm just seeing how different tones can be created. You can get kind of a smoother effect. I'm liking that. So have a play with that. Play with the different sorts of marks that you can get. You might just leave those quite bold. Get that sort of contrast going. In a future lesson, we'll be looking at tone and uh, seeing how you can really make your work pop by um, using tone. That's, ooh. I am quite liking this. Well, I am liking it. I'm liking it. Look at that. Yeah, great. Pro proper artist hands. <laughs> Getting very, very messy. So I hope you've enjoyed the lesson today. We've done this sort of charcoal and then we did sort of watercolour pieces. I'll just sort of bring those down. That was really liked the things that were happening there. I'm thinking about, hmm, yeah, how else can I use this, these sorts of techniques in my work? And I'm hoping that you're thinking the same thing. Because when we start to really play with the materials and play with the medium, we can try new things, we can experiment. It frees your mind a little bit. And uh, yeah, your art will be taken to the next level. I really hope you've enjoyed this lesson. I've very much enjoyed playing with these materials and I hope that you can join me next time. So I did manage to get very messy in this session. I really hope you've enjoyed it. Leave your comments, tell me what you think. And if you've got any thoughts and ideas of lessons that you'd like me to do in the future, then let me know. Have a wonderful day and a wonderful creative journey. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.